So here are three really uncomfortable truths for you. Um, you're not going to like it, but unfortunately it needs to be said. So the first one is that the majority of the time, you are going to need money to make money. Now obviously you can make money without needing a lot of capital up front. I know because I've done it myself, but the majority of the time, for the majority of people, if you've got access to, for example, 50K, it's gonna be far easier for you to succeed and make money than somebody who starts off with 100 pounds. I mean, for a start, you can avoid really expensive debt, um, which, you know, a lot of time shoots us off in the foot financially, and the business will fail before you even had the opportunity to start. So yeah, unfortunately, the majority of the time, you will need money to make money. Okay, number two, your investments aren't likely to make you rich, but if you're a good investor, they're very likely to make you wealthy. To be rich, you will need a high salary position, so a high paying job, or high cash flowing business or businesses. That's why it's actually really important to own a business uh, if you can, or open one, and obviously one that is successful and does well and pays you a lot of money. Uh, the reason for this is that with investments, it's all about the long-term gain, so it's about compound interest, it's about accumulating wealth and assets over a period of time. So they won't make you rich short-term, but they will, if done right, make you really, really wealthy long-term. So uncomfortable truth number three, the wealth gap is massive. Obviously, everybody knows that, but it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I believe that this is due to the power of, of investing. So with investing, generally speaking, people that are able to invest do so because they are able to set a bit of money aside at the end of each week or at the end of each month to be able to invest in assets that will grow in value over time and the compounding effect of those assets would generate a lot of wealth over the long term obviously if you are on the breadline or if you're struggling financially you know you just try to survive then realistically yeah you're not going to have any money left aside at the end of each week or at the end of each month to be able to invest you know you're just trying to put food on the table and as a result that gap is just going to get wider and wider and wider and people without money is just going to fall behind okay so the three uncomfortable truths again are one you will need money to make a lot of money you can obviously make some money with no money I know because I've done it myself, but realistically speaking, for the majority of the time, you need a lot of money to make a lot of money. Number two, uh, your investments or investing isn't going to make you rich, but it will make you wealthy if done right over a long period of time. To be rich, you need a high cash flowing business or businesses that do well or a high salary position. Three, the wealth gap is massive and it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's simply due to the power of investing. People who are able to invest have money left aside at the end of each month so they can invest in assets that grow over time. Obviously, people without, with not a lot of money can't invest and therefore their position financially isn't able to improve. Now, I'm not saying these things to depress you, although I'm pretty sure you will feel depressed depending on your mindset. Hopefully, they will empower you. Uh, so for example you know now that you understand what's required for example number one that you need money to make money so you know start a business uh, absolutely definitely do it but go into it go into it with your eyes wide open number two uh, that you're investing it's extremely important but it's not going to make you rich it will make you wealthy over time you will need a high salary position or a really good cash flowing successful business or multiple businesses and three really to to get the cash flow you need to own or run businesses obviously you know run a business first learn to run it and then buy other businesses 